Young talent comes to life on the opera stage in the month of April as the Cape Town Opera does their take on Verdi's Otello. Now, from the 6th to the 13th of April, opera lovers are in for a very special treat as the international touring production will enchant the art stage, opera house stage. Now, here this morning, we will give you a very sneak peek of some of the amazing voices that you can expect to hear. And, of course, they are here this morning to chat all things Cape Town Opera. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Beautiful faces. Very, very bright clothing up the, uh, at the back there. Very welcome to Expresso this morning. So we have a lot of you. But Sarah Jane, I'm going to start off with you, first mm -hmm. of all. I think we can all be forgiven when we think that, you know, the opera is mostly for older people. Mm -hmm. But I see younger faces at the back there. Mm -hmm. Please tell us how every single one of these young artists came into the Cape Town Opera. Well, I think that um, opera is a kind of vocation that yeah. you have to want to do it from a very early age and it's something that you have to dedicate your whole life to. Yeah. Um, it takes years of training. I myself trained for 12 years wow. um, at university level. And so um, I think that um, every one of us probably started singing from a very early age, discovered that we had a specific talent for opera, yeah. found a teacher, found a choir and started that way. Wow. Um, but it's certainly not something, you know, it's something that a lot of audiences um, are, contain a lot of older people, but mm -hmm. it's something that can um, be accessed by yeah. everybody from very young to very old. Now, I must say, Mtunzi, that when I listen to the Cape Town Opera, it's just it's something of a national pride for me. Uh, Cape Town Opera is a touring you know, group. You guys have gone to so many beautiful countries all around the world. But why is it that, why do you think it is that the, the opera specifically is so successful internationally? Oh, well, it's simple. It's, it's, it's the commitment of the singers on stage. Yeah. You know, like, for instance, you know, when you, when you put South Africans on stage, you will see that, wow, the action that they do on stage, mm -hmm. the commitment. And we are here today because of, of, of that commitment. You know, yeah. Cape Town Opera is, is done a lot. You know, overseas, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's an art form from, we know that it's an art form from overseas, uh, yeah. overseas in Europe, but we're claiming as South Africans so that we can do it you know what I mean so yeah that's the thing what are some of the places that you guys have visited and what's the what's the feel from people all around the world you know when we uh, we, we went to like uh, uh, Sweden uh, UK yeah. and uh, lots like uh, uh, Malmo Germany yeah. you yes, know those, yes. but when you get on stage though in those places you could see that wow the people it's it's wow yes. it's something that is new from from South Africa you yeah. remember it's not our thing yes, you know yeah. so we everywhere we go we do our thing. Wonderful. Yeah. Definitely doing us proud globally there. Exactly. <laughs> Albert, tell us a little bit more about the latest production, Verdi's Otello. Okay. Um, Otello is such a big monster of a piece. Yes. Um, I was saying earlier, we have 10 lead soloists, a chorus of 60 people, 16 children, an orchestra of 70. So wow. the last time we were able to do Otello was 1989 okay. because it's so big. Um, this time we've collaborated with um, five other Australian opera companies, so it's a co-production um, and this production will then tour to other Australian yes. companies um, next year. Um, it's a modern take on Shakespeare's um, Otello, on which Verdi based his, his opera, yeah. um, set on a warship yeah. and it's um, really a visually striking and extremely beautiful production and um, yeah, it was only four shows on the but 6th, 9th, 11th and 13th, so not to be missed. Wow, that sounds very, very exciting. Well, we're going to be not necessarily getting a sneak peek of the Verdi Zotello, but we are going to be hearing some of the amazing voices that are taking part in that. And then finally, Derek, for anybody who's maybe sitting at home this morning that, you know, realizes that they may have a talent, they woke up and immediately they were like, oh, and they're like, I have some serious talent here. How does someone follow the aspirations of being part of the opera? I'm going to add on to what Sarah said because she covered a lot of it. Uh, when you're younger and you love singing, you will obviously join a choir in your mm -hmm. school. And you would then at some age realize that I might be able to hold a tone. Yeah. And at that age, you start thinking, what do I want to do in life? The important thing is that uh, if you follow through, it takes a lot of education. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of learning, a lot of practice. Uh, there's UCT Opera School, you know, you can apply it there, go to school and learn. Uh, about the younger kids, you know, uh, Cape Town Opera has an outreach program that goes to schools and, and educate these kids, you know, yeah. how to sing. And obviously then, after university, we've got uh, studios, like at Cape Town Opera Studio, you will hear them sing in a minute. Um, 
I think a lot of hard work, dedication. Um, it takes a lot of guts, a lot of put in. You know, it's it's a very long hour sort of day job. Uh, but I do think if you have the dream and you have the commitment, it'll be it'll be what you want to do. Wonderful. Well, we're quite excited to hear you perform after the break. And the Cape Town Opera Studio will be performing something pretty interesting for us after the break, so don't go anywhere.